figure skater Nathan Chen and snowboarder Chloe Kim added to the U.S. gold medal haul at the Beijing Winter Olympic Games on Thursday. The big picture. Kim becoming the first woman to successfully defend her Olympic title and Chen's winning free skating routine to the Rocketman soundtrack were among the standout performances on day six of the 2022 Olympics. While President Trump was in office, staff in the White House residence periodically discovered wads of printed paper clogging a toilet and believed the president had flushed pieces of paper, Maggie Haberman scoops in her forthcoming book, Confidence Man. Why it matters. The revelation by Haberman, whose coverage as a New York Times White House correspondent was followed obsessively by Trump, adds a vivid new dimension to his lapses in preserving government documents. Axios was provided an exclusive first look at some of her reporting. Ready or not, states across the U.S. have begun another great unmasking as they prepare to enter the post-Omicron phase of the pandemic. Why it matters. Reasonable experts don't exactly agree on whether it's the right time to start exposing our faces in public again, which makes it difficult to gauge how much of this broader shift is based in science versus changing risk tolerance. Three quarters of Americans say that U.S. democracy could be at risk without stronger regulation of false information online, according to a poll by bipartisan advocacy group The Future of Tech Commission, results of which were shared first with Axios. The same survey found broad bipartisan support for stronger privacy regulation and increased spending on cybersecurity. Why it matters. Congress is considering a range of new restrictions on tech, including bills related to privacy, competition and possible limits to Section 230 of the 1996 Communications Decency Act, which protects online platforms from being sued for user-contributed content.